Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, we're going to continue talking about the Marvel comic books here. We're just ticking up, up, up on the issue numbers. And we're going to talk about two issues here, issues number 70 and 71, both written by Mary Jo Duffy. That's right, we have switched authors now. And hey, get used to her name because from here on out, she writes a majority of of the Marvel comic books. Uh, it's incredible. I think that's over two, three years, I think, of writing on the same series. So she is incredible, if only for that feat. So in issue 70, Lando and Chewie are going after Boss. They're going to track him down and see what he knows about you know, where Han is. They're trying to find out where Han Solo is because they don't know, you know he's at Tatooine, he's been sold by Jabba. They don't know where Boba Fett took him. So all they know is that maybe one of these other bounty hunters know, which is why Leia and uh, Leia went off to Leia and 3PO went off to track Dengar in the previous issue. Well, now Lando and Chewie are going off to find uh, Bosk, while Luke and R2 are going to find IG88, and that's basically what it's uh, focusing on. Because in issue 70, uh, Luke is recounting a previous mission. Uh, to the planet of Stennis, which is where they're at now. And, so, and he recalls a previous mission. It's basically a flashback issue so they can have Han Solo in it because you know this is issue 70. We need to make something big. So let's put Han, so uh, Han Solo flashback series you know, or story there. So Luke recounts an old adventure that they had. Uh, Lando and Chewie are with him uh, and they're both tracking Dengar and IG-88 together but they will split off into pairs later on. Sorry, I went rambling on there for a minute. Anyway, uh, so anyway, that's it's just basically a flashback story with Han. Now, in issue 71, uh, they continue the story with Lando, Chewie, Luke, and R2 as they're on Stenos, and someone recognizes Lando Calrissian, and he is angry with Lando because he thinks Lando cheated at cards one time or whatever, and he puts a $10,000 bounty on Lando's head, and Lando goes, shut up, no one's going to take you up on that. And then the whole bar says, we want it, and they all go after uh, Lando. And so Luke and Lando are on the run from all these patrons who are trying to claim that uh, reward, which is actually kind of funny when you think about it. Now, this all ends uh, where well, they do fend them off, but they're slowly encountering people who are trying to get the bounty on Lando, and they eventually fall into a trap set forth by Bosk and IG-88. Oh no! Egad, it was a trap! And so now they're trapped, and will they be able to escape the trap? I'm pretty sure they will. Now, uh, we'll talk about more about that, but just for a minute, I want to go back to Mary Jo Duffy. When I'm going to talk about her, she had a really hard job. I guess they just left her in control of Star Wars, put it on autopilot. Jedi is about to come out. They know they're going to make tons of money when Jedi comes out, and she wrote it off all the way to the bitter, and I mean bitter, no one cares about Star Wars anymore, end. So she was there in the end when Star Wars was entering its dark period and no one really cared about it. But Mary Jo Duffy continued to care about it, and I can't wait to talk about all of her stories. But that is for another video. See you next time.